Good evening and welcome to All Care Field at Badger Stadium for this evening's non-conference girls and boys soccer doubleheader between the visiting Mina Lady Cats and Bearcats and the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers and Badgers. This is Chris Babb. Joining me is Will Cervantes. Thanks for uh, joining us, Will. I think Steve Patterson, the uh, head boys coach, will be up here to join us in a few minutes during the first half and uh, talk a little bit. But uh, we're excited to be able to bring this first uh, live stream of soccer. And Will, I know that... Uh, Although I know you'd much rather still be down on the floor, down <laughs> on the field, especially during the during the boys' game. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we're, I'm looking forward to doing this and, and, and seeing how seeing how it goes. Same here, coach. I'm very excited to be on here with you today. All right, Will was graduated from Arkadelphia High School in May, and he was a four-year letterman on the uh, Badger soccer team, and he was a captain last year for the Badgers under head coach Steve Patterson. Mm -hmm. The Lady Badgers are in their blue uniforms. And as we have the ability to, we'll tell you the starting lineups. Go ahead and go over the starters for Arkadelphia. See Gabby Wimpy and Caroline Bennington. Got Cielo Castro. Cielo Castro, Castro Olivia Dixon, and Mary Jane Adami in the front. Sumner Hercant. Uh, Faith, Faith Ocello. Ocello. And this is Lindley Lowry at uh, Defender. And then Asia Jenkins, our keeper, is... Rebecca Warner and Elizabeth Rodriguez. Elizabeth Rodriguez, the 11th starter for the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers under head coach Mike Adams. The Lady Badgers are 2 1 and 1 on the season so far, and they their last time here was the first home game of the season. They had a big win against Central Arkansas Christian, and uh, Will, you know that uh, wins against CAC oh, are, yeah. are, are, don't come very often, but they no. were fun, and that was a big win for both teams. Amazing win. Especially for the women. I believe it was a Last seven last seconds. Se last seven seconds. Olivia Dixon. Olivia Dixon gave Arkadelphia the, the win. Obviously, we are outside up top, if you're familiar. And so if you have to bear with us, the, the wind in the background, I don't know if it's as bad for you as it is uh, for us up here. But regardless, we will uh, we will do our best. Now, we had set the clock. I just set the clock to 40 minutes. And now, of course, it's not going to want to cooperate with us. And so we will just take, keep the clock off there and kind of give you an update of how much time is left uh, as now. we go. And then we'll try to see if we can't fix that uh, at halftime sometime. Arkadelphia. The Lady Badgers made the state tournament last year, and they. Uh, this is a non-conference game. Although Mina is in our conference, in our conference, this is a non-conference game. This, these two teams will play against each other later in the season at Mina. At Mina, but uh, glad to be able to get this one on a Friday before spring break. I guess you're going to miss spring break next week too. Not being a student, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spring break, all of that. Ooh, Cielo Castro almost had the... Oh, Mary, Mary Jane, Jane with the interception. Lands to Caroline. Have offside called against Arkadelphia. The forwards in you know, Arkadelphia's lineup today. We mentioned Gabby Wimpy, Caroline Bennington, Olivia Dixon there, Cielo Castro also. And Mary Jane Adame. Mary Jane Adame. Talk about the alignment that the Lady Badgers use. Uh, most of the most of the time and what they're coming out looking in the, uh, in this match tonight well I feel like the Lady Badgers have a really strong defense with the two men with the two females back and then with three back in front of them uh, it's pretty strong midfield uh, and of course defensive formation uh, we have Faith Ocello, Lindley Lowry and uh, Sumner Haircamp to stop the plays and start the plays for the Lady Badgers giving it up to the forwards and from there on, I feel like it's a great formation for Lady Badgers. A lot of seniors on this uh, team. It's just uh, Mary Jane Adame is a, a senior, but at all, uh, Olivia Dixon uh, is a captain. You see the captain's wristband, but also some young players on this Lady Badger team. And Caroline Bennington and uh, Gabby Wimpy are both sophomores. Uh, the, the, the experience there in the, the defensive backfield of Arkadelphia. Like Olivia Dixon will take the corner on the far side. Let's see if Cielo Castro and Caroline Bennington have a head to this ball. Oh, short pass to Mary Jane. Is Mary Jane going to cross or shoot it? Oh. 
Lady Badgers almost had one there. It's close. Be a goal kick for Arkadelphia. Excuse me, for Mina. Now you, you hear the wind, but you obviously can't feel it like we can. That wind is blowing left to right, so that is in the face of the Mina uh, Bearcats and particularly their keepers. So, especially in this first half, whoever is going uh, towards that this end of the field that we're on now will we'll have a significant advantage. Oh yeah, that wind is strong, especially with the ball. And we have another throw in for the Lady Badgers, throwing it in. I think it's Caroline Bennington. Throw out to Cielo Castro. Cielo goes through the middle. Gets stopped by a Lady Mina Cat defender. Back to Caroline. Olivia Dixon. Oh. And we will have a Lady Badger throw in. Throw in. That's about as close as a corner as you can get. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's close. You can get. Much rather have the corner there, but it will be a throw in, and either. Looks like Mary Jane will take that one on the far side. She throws it into Cielo Castro. Gets it down. Now it will be a Lady a, Badger a corner. Lady Badgers have had a strong so far in this first half. Yeah, not much action on the, uh, the Lady defense. Cat side of the uh, of the field so far. Just five minutes into the first half, 35 minutes remaining in the first half. No scores. We mentioned earlier had the clock set for 40, but didn't like the way I set it up. I guess so. We'll just go without the clock and we can manually get it up but uh, that not looking like it's going to want to cooperate with us but we'll chalk it up to first game jitters and see what we can do Cielo has a chance there now Gabby Wimpy Gabby Wimpy with the ball. Lady Mina Cat defender gets it great pressure from Gabby Wimpy and is the Lady Badger throw in again well if the first time you know soccer matches and you know, 40 minutes a half, 80 minutes. How much of this first half is, is if you don't know a team well, is, is a lot of feeling out the team and feel, seeing what they're going to do on defense and how you can how you can better approach them. Uh, well, uh, from my cousin Christopher Cervantes, he'd always tell me give the team about a good or the first half about a good 20 minutes to feel what how the team plays, look at their playing style, formation. All of that depends on well everything really the way they play, formation. How they communicate with each other good 20 minutes sounds about right and well if you don't have it figured out by then well <laughs> i don't <laughs> know luck. what to tell you that's a nice attempt on a shot there by faith ocello just wide left of the goal now gabby wimpy may now see a crash well, a lot of traffic there in the middle and mina's able to get it out but into the foot of olivia dixon lily lowry oh a great recovery by Lindley to get the ball back. Pass to Mary Jane out to the side. She keeps it in, goes down the line, and Amina Cat defenders right there. With the win comes the sniffle. So I apologize to those of you who may be watching. If I was really not counting, I look out today and said, "Man, what a beautiful day!" And talked to Coach Patterson. And he said, yeah, we really thought the wind was supposed to die down. So maybe after the sun goes down, it'll it'll die down. But right now it is crazy. Really, really blowing pretty strong. Bought a Gabby Wimpy. Will she make it? And then we have another Lady Mina Cat goal kick. Now the second or third goal kick and she hadn't been able to kick it more than 20 to 25 yards. She kicks that one right too, Gabby. Now the Lady Badgers have a chance. 
And another have corner, corner kick, kick on this side this time for Arkadelphia. Eight minutes have passed. We got 32 left in the first half. And hopefully we get plenty of goals. Caroline Bennington is ready to take the corner. Mary Jane with the interception. In the middle to Cielo Castro. Oh, but the goalie's right there to grab it. Joined by the venerable Steve Patterson. How about that? The guts have brought the rosters, taking care of the media. And we came prepared, Coach Pat. We had rosters up here. Now, I was talking to Will a little bit earlier, he, and, and I think this afternoon you said you're going to do something about this 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 wind, but it, it's still here. Well, here, here you, go. you got to take that off and, and just share with us. Well, you know, uh, Barry Brad told me this morning, <laughs> <laughs> personally, that the wind would be gone by this afternoon. If Ned hadn't retired, we'd have a Ned would have it right. With, uh, pretty day with no win. Yep. Joined by Steve Patterson, coach of the Badger soccer team and told Will a little bit earlier, you know, I know uh, he wishes he was still getting ready to go into the, to the indoor at halftime to prepare, prepare for a match, but I was kind of glad that uh, he's up here with us. I think uh, Will would play 24 hours a day if he could, but especially if someone paid him to do that. Yeah, really, really. <laughs> Talk about the the match that uh, you're expecting from your your Badgers and uh, the season we've had so far. Had a big win against uh, Central Arkansas Christian uh, last week. And talk a little bit about what you expect to see uh, tonight against Mina. Well, we expect uh, a very organized uh, attack from Mina. I mean, they're always good. They always have a good uh, uh, couple of people. They still have their best player from last year. Uh, number seven and then number three is also very good so we'll have to key on them and make sure that we can try to keep them out of the goal keep them uh, always moving the ball down our direction this is not a conference match but uh, this is a team that you will see later in the season in a conference match and so any any differences there from from strategy wise in a non-conference match compared to a conference match well, there's a well. Probably the biggest difference tonight is that we have several on spring break and who've had to leave. Um, our captain uh, Nick Lavar is not here with us tonight. Uh, one of our uh, people who are right in front of him, uh, one of our exchange students from Thailand, uh, Pun, is not here tonight, and uh, so that's two people right in uh, one space there that we're not going to have. So we will have again when we play them there so uh strategy is going to be a lot different tonight uh, because we're trying to put some people in new places and uh see how they play uh, without some of our leaders here tonight uh, but other than that uh, you know our our basic goal is keep the ball on the ground and then uh carefully move it into their goal and score and keep them out of our goals so that's a good that's, that's really good that's, that's really an amazing strategy that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it seems to be working for us so far. So yeah, undefeated on the season. We talked a little about the Lady Badgers. They're two one and one on the season. Both had big wins against Central Arkansas Christian, and then conference play for both of these squads will really get going after spring break. Uh, and then uh, yeah, that's the talk day a little after, bit about right. the uh, uh, the conference this year. It is a relatively new. Well, I guess similar teams in some, but you lose some, gain some. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about the conference's shot from Caroline Bennington is saved by the keeper, and that keeps us scoreless. We do would remind those watching at home that our clock, although we set it to 40 minutes, is didn't like uh, when we hit start. It started at 7:59, just like it was doing a basketball or football game. So we've got 27 minutes left in the uh, plus left in the first half. No score here between the Arkadelphia Lady Badgers and. Mean a lady cats. Most of the action has been on the lady badger offensive side of the field, and coincidentally, that's the way the wind's been blowing. <laughs> but uh, talk a little bit about uh, this conference and uh, what to expect, and then as people as the, oh, as the uh, uh, teams prepare for the conference tournament. Well, we've had um, 
pretty much the same conference now for several years. And then this year, uh, just like baseball and basketball and uh, all the other sports right. except football, we've been rotated into the um, bottom half of 5A. And that bottom half of 5A and the top half of 4A is making up the new 4A uh, uh, conference for us. Yeah. And, which uh, is kind of difficult for us, to be honest. It's a much more difficult conference than we used to be in with uh, perennial state champion D Queen now at our conference and uh, also um, D Queen, or not D Queen, pardon me. Um, uh, Pulaski Academy, who has won the state championship in both boys and girls. Uh, we'll at some point uh, hopefully see Harrison, uh, who has also won the state championship in boys and girls at the state level. Right. Uh, so a lot of these 5A schools that now we're uh, in conference with uh, have been very successful. Shot wide uh, right. Soccer wise. Wide right there from Caroline Bennington, her second or third shot uh, of the first half. Uh, yeah. Steve, you mentioned the uh, classification. Cielo Castro has a chance there, but she was almost stolen away, possessed by Mina. The classification system for baseball, basketball, softball, track, uh, most of the others except for football, as you mentioned, uh, with basketball just finishing, uh, it was uh, interesting to see that, I don't know if it's coincidence or just the way it worked out or, or a sign of, of what you might have expected, but... Uh, Class uh, 6A boys, excuse me, 5A boys basketball, 4A boys basketball, 3A boys basketball, and a couple of the uh, girls classifications also. A nice move by Olivia Dixon and across to the, the middle. Castro not able to get it before the Mina keeper. All of those championships in basketball were, were won by the schools who the technically level. dropped down right. uh, in classification. Right. Uh, what you, those <laughs> former 5A schools. Right, right. and uh, winning 4A and then also you know, Ashdown. Ashdown won a boys state championship. They were a 4A school in football and won uh, in uh, the class 3A boys state basketball championship. But uh, Cielo Castro, the first best shot of the half for Arkadelphia, the shot was wide right. But you got to think as a coach, as many shots and attempts as your chances as you're getting, one of those has got to, got That's to right. find the back of the net. To, to they just need to pressure. keep the pressure up, and uh, they'll get it in there. And it will be a corner for Arkadelphia, as they rule that the keeper did tip that one. So Olivia Dixon will take the corner for Arkadelphia, second corner from this side of the field. Olivia with the cross into the wind through the box, almost headed by Cielo Castro, but it is kicked out by Mina, and it will be a Lady Badger throw. It looks like Sumner Herkamp over there ready to throw it in for the Lady Badgers. As long as the Lady Badgers can keep the ball down on this end of the field and keep attacking, they're, they're going to end up winning this game. I can't remember what Mina's girls represent. They are 0-2 on the season, uh, looking for their first win is the Mina boys have been playing some Oklahoma teams and we don't know much about Oklahoma teams but they're right over there on the border so it's easier for oh, them to Mary Jane just over the crossbar yeah that was a nice play just a little bit too strong Mary Jane the senior with this wind I'm a little surprised they're lifting the ball up so much Mary Jane's just strong like that coach Pat <laughs> and we, Will and I talked also the, the keeper for, for Mina uh, shoe flying uh, Mina lost a shoe Mina lost a shoe the cat got stopped in her tracks <laughs> nice shot oh, that's by a Caroline nice Bennington shot. nice that's shot him. by Caroline Bennington strong shot nice just goal. over the arms of the keeper and if you're watching at home I think I might have just Missed it by two inches, but you got to see, at least got to see the shot. So Caroline Bennington puts Arkadelphia on the board at 23-12, remaining in the first half. And Arkadelphia, after I think that might have been the third or fourth shot on goal and probably the seventh or eighth right. total shot or shot. And uh, they'll keep attempt. doing that. They'll keep pounding away at them because the uh, Mina midfield is not um, moving together with the ball. Could be another Lady Badger throw in on this side again. Don't know, never can tell when you're, when we're 
doing this, how much the the wind is coming through the microphone. It sounds in our ears like we're getting sounds you're like probably a getting blown away, ears. but uh, not sure how how much of that wind is coming through over the the broadcast. So, uh, and, uh, and if it's over and if it's overpowering us, that may be you know better for those at home, right? Not being able to hear us <laughs> talk. Well, that sounds exactly the way that it feels. I can tell you that. Another chance for Arkadelphia, but keeper came yeah, out. They look like a guitar is. Uh, thanks, thankful for numbers. I can tell which one it is. That was uh, that was uh, Ariana Gutierrez coming in to sub. Looks like she might have replaced Cielo in the Arkadelphia lineup. Cielo Castro. If she'd started forward about uh, two seconds earlier, I think she would have gotten that touch on that well, ball. She's going to have a chance here because if the goal kick is any similar, oh, it's yes. going to be right You're right. There's You're a right. chance. Just couldn't quite control it enough to get through the two defenders. Olivia Dixon, boy, Steve, uh, Will and I talked a few minutes ago about Caroline Bennington. Didn't quite catch that one in stride. Didn't get everything uh, behind it. We talked to earlier about uh, Olivia's game winner against Central Arkansas Christian. And, yeah, uh, beautiful. An exciting, uh, exciting win for Arkadelphia there. Something like AC. seven seconds left to go in the, in the game. Yeah, yeah, we'll say it, it was it was a great game. And scored three unanswered, come three away. unanswered goals to come away with a win against CAC. Steve, talk about the seniors on uh, your team. For those, here comes one of our Lady Badger seniors, Mary Jane Adami. That shot is too wide to the right, so it'll be another goal kick and another chance for Gutierrez to <laughs> get the pass and go in for a shot. <laughs> but uh, for those of you who may uh, be able to come watch. Uh, one of the remaining home games, which we do have several. This is only the second uh, or third home match of the season. Uh, you'll see a banner of the Lady Badger and the Badger Seniors on the fence behind the uh, home side, uh, home bleachers. Talk about your seniors on your team this year for the on the Badger, the boys side. Well, we don't have a lot of them. We have six altogether, but uh, the six we have are all very good uh, players. Um, Five of them are starting right now and uh, really could be starting six if we uh, needed to or wanted to. Um, so that's the nice thing about it. But our two captains, uh, Nick LeVar is anchoring uh, the defense and uh, with Kevin Valeriano, who's another senior. Kevin is really a uh, transplanted uh, midfielder who's moved down to uh, the sweeper position because his uh, defending skills are so strong. And then uh, Bradley uh, Neal, who we had thought was moving to Heber Springs at the end of last season, has uh, come on and he decided to stay here. His parents decided not to move him. And uh, so he's already had several goals already this year. I think he's our leading scorer. Um, there's a good right shot here. on goal by me. Shot on goal and Warner kicks that one away. Nice job earlier by Asia Jenkins of putting the ball out of bounds, stopping the Mina fast break, and now you'll be able to see Rebecca Warner with the goal kick. Not then, a lot of trajectory, and then Olivia Dixon gets that one. And they're back down to the meter into half. the field. That's yep. good. It was the, the, the oh, one time. Go. Here goes Olivia. It's that uh, midfield break. that's yep. really making the difference for Arkadelphia right now. Oh. And the one time Mina did have the ball, now the second time it was a misplay on a, a defender trying to catch the ball on one hop that allowed Mina to have the the one offensive threat, I guess you might say, that they've had. And I'm talking about our seniors, Dion Hunter, who was, uh, we got late because of football, of course, and uh, his season went nice and long in football, so we got him uh, really after we'd kind of set our offense, but he's already earned a place back on the offense at the midfield and really in his own quiet way has managed to uh, <laughs> dominate there in the midfield. So that's been good for us. Just under 18 minutes remaining in 
the first half. Arkadelphia with the 1-0 lead thanks to a shot on a shot from a goal from Caroline Bennington. Oh, she Keeper was out of the to, box. Uh, yeah, she came out of the box. So Arkadelphia will get a free kick a, right there. It's an indirect kick, isn't it, uh, Will? You think it's direct for coming out of the box? Olivia Dixon will take this one, so we'll... I didn't see him signal either way, so... The referee will scoot the Lady Cat wall back, and Olivia Dixon over the wall. Mary and Jane needs to be ready. Oh! Uh, Gabby Wimpy's shot was just wide right, and Mina escapes. Now we're gonna go someone else with the goal kick for the for the Lady Cat. <laughs> They're trying everybody. Yeah. Hey, that's she's been the best one so far. Yeah. I think it got out to the 25. Gabby Wimpy there gets the ball in the air, gets the possession back just wide right. And the Mina keeper saves it at the post. The winds died down a little bit, and they were able to get a good goal kick yeah. off there. Mary Jane. All right. It'll be a throw in for Arkadelphia, and Mary Jane will take that. 16-10 remaining in the first half. Arkadelphia leads 1-0. Thanks for watching. And glad to be able to bring the live stream to you, enable those who may be family members of the Lady Badgers and Badgers to be able to watch if you're out of town, out of state, out of country. <laughs> well, that's very possible. We've, we've well, discovered okay. during football we that did. several we people did. were yeah. watching from all over the, yeah. the world. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to make my move down to get the boys ready. So yeah. it's been great uh, being with you up yeah, here on the press box. Up. Up in the wind tunnel. Yeah, the wind tunnel. It, it is. Uh, <laughs> now I know what the, the camera guys during football are, are, say when they mean when they say, man, it is just that wind up there or something. I was like, it's not even windy today. Well, it is up uh, there. I was trying to remember uh, earlier tonight that football game that Jeff Root said, uh, I think I can see the press box on the other side of the field. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, gentlemen, keep up the good work Steve, and uh, hope everyone at home is enjoying <laughs> these two Badger games yeah, tonight. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Steve thanks. Patterson will head to the locker room to, or excuse me, the indoor to get the uh, Badger boys team ready. Uh, here is we're about 10 minutes from halftime. Actually, sorry, 14 minutes from halftime. The Lady Badgers lead one to nothing. Chris Babb joined by Will Cervantes. Just under 15 minutes left to play in the game. Lady Badgers have a 1-0 lead. And well, it was almost about that 20 minute mark that you mentioned earlier about feeling a team out. It was about uh, six minutes ago, mm -hmm. about somewhere close to that, that the Lady Badgers were able to Score. strike and get that first goal. Usually, uh, well, from my experience, usually within the first 20 minutes, you'd have probably a scoreless game, but probably, it intensifies more after the first 20 minutes yep. after getting the feel against the other team, having more intensity into the game. Lindley Lowry. Strong kick. Strong kick. Puts that one into the sun. The keeper had to battle the sun for that one. Let's call the attention of the uh, Mina keeper while we're waiting. Baldwin sending the ball boy out to giving him a bunch of work as well. Looks like Annie Baker may be the keeper for Mina today. She's had her work cut out for her uh, in this uh, first half. Busy Lady 25 Badgers. minutes of action. Gabby went to eat the cross to Ariana Gutierrez. Ariana strikes. Ooh, just above the post. Ariana and Alexandria grew up in Arkadelphia, moved to Move schools their eighth grade year and were able to come back this year. Glad to have them back uh, in Arkadelphia as they were in Bryant last year. Glad to have 
the twins back. Wind's getting stronger up here. It is. It's going to mess up my hair, Will. <laughs> it's going to mess up my hair. Yeah. One of those is actually possible. <laughs> Sub onto the field for Arkadelphia. Sumner Herkamp will come out. Coming on to the field is number... It's like Elizabeth, wasn't it? Uh, that's Maddie Green. I couldn't tell. It looked like a 28, but that's a 20. That's Maddie Green. Speaking of twins. So Maddie will replace Sumner Herkamp. Set the lineup for Arkadelphia. Olivia Dixon there at the bottom of your screen. They're retrieving the ball, preparing for the throw in. Gabby Wimpy, Caroline Bennington, Ariana Gutierrez are the four uh, forwards, and then along with Mary Jane Adami, although it looks kind of like Mary Jane's kind of scooted back uh, a little bit, but she is one of the five. Olivia cuts through the middle. Good shot here by Olivia, just too strong. And Olivia, you just missed him. He, he just headed back to the, the elusive Patterson is being searched for. He just headed back to the indoor. Nice shot that time by Olivia. Even into the wind or with the wind, it was a little bit too tough of a shot, too strong of a shot. Beautiful pass to Gabby Wimpy. Gabby's there to receive the ball. Ooh. Right into the hands of the keeper. Another shot on goal. Another save for Mina. Lady Badgers continuing to put the pressure on. And here's another opportunity for Arkadelphia. Caroline Bennington that had just a little too much right to left on it. Uh, a little too much and went wide left. So it'll be another goal kick for Mina. 10.45 remaining in the first half. On a beautiful windy windy day. Friday afternoon in Arkadelphia. It'll be a throw in for the Lady Badgers. We do have Jane a Adama. sub. Looks like, like Kimberly Moreno oh, is taking out yeah. Caroline Bennington. Kimberly Moreno will check in for Arkadelphia replacing Caroline. Caroline has the lone goal of the match so uh, to this point. She scored with about 20 minutes remaining in the first half. Mm -hmm. And we'll have another Lady Badger throw in. Mary Jane to throw this one in. She's looking for Kimberly Moreno or down the line with Olivia Dixon. She goes down the line and then I'm going to say it never made it into the field of play. It'll be a throw in for Mina. Right back into possession of Arkadelphia. And now, nice job by Mina of getting it. But Asia Jenkins right there to clear it out for Arkadelphia. It goes across the field to Gabby Wimpy. Now Gabby starts the attack. Pass to Ariana. Out to Kimberly. Back to Ariana. Nice. Amazing chip pass to Gabby. Gabby goes down the sideline. Ooh. Not a foul. No wow. foul call. They're going to give a throw in to Arkadelphia. And Gabby Wimpy will have the throw in for the Lady Badgers. She looks for targets. Sees Olivia Dixon or well Kimberly Moreno. My mistake. Lady Cats were there to defend it. And it will be another Lady Badgers throw in. 8.40 remaining in the first half now. Arkadelphia still leads one to nothing. Gabby Wimpy with the throw in for the Lady Badgers. And here we go again. I've lost count of how many <laughs> throw ins. <laughs> throw ins, goal kicks, I've lost count. <laughs> uh. Gabby Wimpy again now. To Ariana Gutierrez. Now we're going to have a corner. Wind is so strong, it's knocked the corner flag over. Let's see who's going to take this corner for Arkadelphia. Olivia Dixon. See in the background the construction area for the Goza Middle School that is just to 
our right. Olivia Dixon will take this corner. Uh, not, not before a sub. We're going to have Alexandria Gutierrez come on, it looks like, for Arkadelphia. For so Elizabeth Rodriguez. Elizabeth. Dixon will ready for the corner. To Alex Gutierrez. Nice Defended. job of defense there by the Lady Cats to chip that or get that one out of the box. Ariana's there to recover the ball. Out to Mary Jane down the side. Mary Jane, ooh, what a beautiful fake. Into the middle. Defended well by Ariana. Looks like she, well, actually recovered by Maddie Green. To the middle to Olivia Dixon. And just, just out to the left. Out. Wide left. More pressure. More pressure from the Lady Badgers. And at what point as a as an offensive player, you you can you can say, let's keep putting pressure on, keep putting pressure on, we'll be all right. But then at some point the frustration's gotta set in and say, All right, come on now, I've got these good looks. I've got to be able to take advantage of something. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, well, I say one of the offense's important jobs is to pressure the opposing defense because it, it just, as you said, it frustrates them and makes them lose their head. Like, wow, they're they're going to take the ball away from me every time, and they're just not going to change that mentality. Mina will have a throw in around midfield. Again, against the wind, Faith Ocello controls it with the chest, and then... Asia Jenkins is there to recover the ball out to Maddie Green and Maddie passes it to Mary Jane. She sees Olivia. Well, she's going to take it down the sideline. She stops the ball. And another lady back should throw in. <laughs> 5.40 remaining in the half. And right behind us is what looks like the Mina soccer team has just arrived. Kimberly Moreno with the shot, saved by the goalkeeper. Lindley Lowry comes up to get that one. Ariana with the shot out to the left. We will have another Lady back, well, Lady Mina Cat goal kick. 4.45 remaining in the first half now. Arkadelphia with the one nothing lead on a goal from Caroline Bennington. Strong shot and Faith Ocello chips that one into the box. Slipped by the Lady Mina Cat defender, which will we'll have another Lady right. Badger throw in. <laughs> Mary Jane to throw this one in. Will, what is it right now? Go ahead and say it. It's another. Lady Badger throw in. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you may uh, wake up in the middle of the night. It's another Lady Badger throw in. You just wake <laughs> up. Again, Chris Babb, uh, along with Will Cervantes here, bringing you this first ever live stream of soccer. Glad to be able to bring it to you. Hope that you, wherever you're watching, that you're able to watch your family member or friend if you weren't able to make it to the match tonight. Pass out to Olivia Dixon. Olivia with the shot. Just out left. 318 remaining in the first half now. Lady Badger is trying to add to the one nothing lead before halftime. Take advantage of that wind for the last three minutes of while they have it. Pass out to Gabby Wimpy. Gabby returns it to Ariana. Ariana has a shot deflected. Gabby recovers out to Olivia, controls with the chest. 
little bit of traffic. Gabby dribbling in traffic. Almost nice job by Mina being able to clear that one out. Faith Ocello now fighting for the ball out to Maddie Green. Yeah, Lady Cat throw in for Mina. Now with two minutes left in the first half. Badgers, Lady Badgers up 1-0, looking to add to it. And now... As Chris Babb like to say, another <laughs> lady back to throw in. There you go. Good effort so far this match for Mina from Aaliyah Ayers. There you see her right there with the steal. She is a captain on the Lady Cat team. She gets the steal and just can't quite keep it the, for an entire possession. Lindley Lowry. She was looking for a, a teammate, but had a little bit too much on that one. Goal kick for Mina, and Ayers will have it. Flicks it ahead, but Faith Ocello is there for Arkadelphia. Ariana, Ariana has a, a chance if she can get an angle. Gabby Wimpy almost had an interception. That is LaDonna Barber for Mina, stolen away by Wimpy. Gutierrez has a chance. Dixon. Flicks it to the middle. There's Mary Jane Adami with a chance, but the Mina keeper, that's Annie Baker, grabbed it just at the last second. But again, struggling with the goal kick. Gives Arkadelphia another chance with just under a minute to go, but Gabby Wimpy's shot will be on goal, will be saved by Baker. See if the Lady Badgers can get one more opportunity. Look like a handball. 30 seconds left in the game. 30 seconds remaining in the the half the Lady Badgers would probably have one more opportunity to try to put this one in the back of the net before halftime. Olivia Dixon has the win behind her. Here she goes. Gets right it in, in the, the middle. middle. Gutierrez didn't have quite have a chance and Mina's able to clear it out and that'll about do it for the first half. That's the end of the first half. Although your clock for some reason decided to start working. We'll see if we can't fix the clock. But uh, end of the first half, it is Arkadelphia 1, Mina 0. We'll be back in a few minutes for the second half. We're going to turn these mics down to so you don't hear just... Uh, win and we'll be back in a few minutes.
All right, welcome back to Hall Care Field at Badger Stadium. It's time for the second half of this girls' match between Arkadelphia and Mina. Second quarter. Well, it'd be second half. Let's just see if we can't change that real quick as well. There we go. Arkadelphia with the 1-0 lead, and they will have the kickoff in the second half. They'll be going against the win now. So, well, when uh, when you're taking win into consideration, you always want to take advantage of it when you have it. The Lady Badgers did that to a certain extent. They have the 1-0 lead, but I know they would have liked for some of those others of the many opportunities they had to uh, find the back of the net. We'll have to see if if it was the wind or the uh, play that kept the ball on the right side of the field. So far, Arkadelphia trying to control things in the second half. And coming out of the halftime break, what are some of the things you think Coach Adams was talking with his team about? Uh, I believe he was talking to his play. Well, yes, his players telling them like. Hey, we need more goals. Uh, now we're that we're against the win. We gotta see what we up against now. Uh, you know, Lady Badgers. They've they've had a pretty good team throughout these years. Uh, I remember last year at the state tournament, they almost pulled an upset against Dardanelle. Three winning three two at halftime, but second half just wasn't the Lady Badgers half losing the game eight three. But this season so far, I have seen a strong Lady Badger team. Only one loss so far. Uh, big win against CAC. I think they could pull this big win off today. A foul was called against Arkadelphia, but the Lady Badgers control the ball. Mary Jane Adame with a move down the field ball gets back to Caroline Bennington. We do have a new keeper in the match for Mina, and we will try to look at the back of her jersey when she turns around. like Alexandria Gutierrez in for Arkadelphia. Faith Ocello also. Ariana Gutierrez. So both Gutierrez sister. Nice chase out by the keeper for Mina. A black number on a purple jersey. That would be 45. That's 45. Corey Hilton, I believe. Corey Hilton, the new keeper into the game for the Mina Lady Cats. The Mina Lady Cats. Faith Ocello playing up a little bit more in this second half. Lindley Lowry clears that one out. Off of the foot of Caroline Morgan, a captain for Mina, and it will be a Lady Badger throw in, Will. Lady <laughs> out to the middle to Olivia. Nice save. By Hilton. Hilton. Yeah, Hilton deflected the shot and then managed to managed to control it, keeping Olivia Dixon from being able to get a shot on the rebound. Ball is kicked out toward the Lady Badger defense. Rebecca Warner comes out for it. Ooh, dangerous play there for Arkadelphia, but it does the job pay off oh, Aaliyah yeah. Ayers the captain for Mina I believe we're going to have a handball call against Mina the assistant they are on the far side signal that uh, several seconds before that ball was kicked out of bounds uh, it took a while for the center ref to be able to find the uh, or to, to get the notification from the AR but the whistle was blown, or excuse me, he did get the signal, raise his right hand, signaling a handball against Mina. I think he called that against Ayers. It'll be Arkadelphia ball now as Ariana gets it to the middle. Olivia Dixon trying to find the ball. Now it's to 22. Mina has the ball on offense, but one lady cat to four lady badger defenders the defenders in the picture for you now lindley lowry 
Elizabeth Rodriguez, Asia Jenkins, Sumner Herkamp. Sumner will control it and kick it out of bounds. It'll be the Mina throw in. Center ref rest. telling them to play nice. Uh huh. Play nice, girls. The throw in is going to be the... kicked off of the shin of her camp. That was nice play by Maddie Lynch of Mina. Mina have their and first. Mina will have the first kick. corner. Now let's see how the Lady Badgers defend this corner kick. Asia Jenkins gets that one out. It's going to have a little backspin back into the box. Lindley Lowry will get a foot on that one out. Eventually get it out to the 25 where Mary Jane Adame tries to come in. And a foul is going to be called on Mary Jane. Free kick for Taking Lady that Mina corner Cubs. for Mina was Helena Metcalf. Free kick was taken quickly, and now we have a Lady Badger goal kick. Rolling a new ball in for Warner. Did figure out our clock malfunction in the from the first half, so I'm glad that the clock on your screen is accurate. Nice save by Mary Jane, keeping that one from going out of bounds. And Lindley Lowry, Lowry gets it up to Caroline Bennington. Bennington was trying to get it across to Caroline to get in a position where she could get it across to, to uh, Olivia, Olivia Dixon. Dixon. But nice job by the mean and defender. Looks like it was Katie Benefield. If I'm reading my numbers correctly, maybe not. No, I was not. It was LaDonna Barber, 23 instead of 13. Lady Badgers lead 1-0 on a goal from sophomore Caroline Bennington. About the 20 minute mark of the first half, we almost midway through. Now we have an illegal throw in against Mina. Now we'll have a official Lady Badger <laughs> throw in. There you go. Mary, Mary Jane. Jane, nice throw in. It's headed out by Ayers. Recovered by Lindley. Strong kick towards the middle. Goes out for a Mina. Lady Cat goal kick. Alexandria Gutierrez. Gutierrez to Mary Jane. Now back to Caroline. Caroline. Ooh, ball takes a weird skip. And the Mina keeper is able to come out and prevent Olivia Dixon from doubling the lead. That was Corey Hilton. It's one of those funny turf bounces or, or, or rolls, spin. I guess. A spin. Has some spin on the ball. And her camp and Finch getting after it there. Good little battle between Sumner Herkamp and Maddie Lynch goes off of Herkamp and Lynch will have the throw in for the Lady Cats. Ayers can't control it and Arkadelphia will now have the throw in. Sumner Herkamp will throw this one in, throw to, this one in to Gutierrez. It goes Out off of the Lady Cat. Herkamp will have another throw in. Down the line to Olivia. Olivia tried to get it to Ariana. Nice hustle by Ariana, but she was not able to control that one before it 
The entire ball made it out of bounds, which is a step in front of that throw in. Ten minutes gone here in the second half. The Lady Badgers still with the one to nothing lead. Oh, Olivia Dixon had a chance. Now who's going to come up with this free one? Bennington with the header. Out to Alabama Mina with the header. Yours. And it will go out of bounds to the Lady Cats. 30 minutes left in the second half. Wind has seemed to calm down quite a bit. As soon as you say that, though, Will, it's going to pipe back up. So <laughs> if it does, it's your fault. I'm blaming you. Nice job by Alexandria Gutierrez stepping in front of that throw in. Faith Ocello. Now Caroline Bennington out to Mary Jane. Mary Jane decides to take it down the sideline. Mary nice Jane job by going. Mary Jane. Get that one across, control it. Mina defender catches up. Still alive, and Lindley Lowry will. That is hard for me to say, Lindley Lowry. Lindley Lowry. I see two against five. Two Lady Mina Cats versus five Lady Baggers. Lady Mina Cats. Some their hair camp. Races down the sideline to get the ball. Is in play. Elizabeth Rodriguez gets beaten. Nice job by Asia. Is it going to be a corner? It will be a corner kick. For Lady Mina. For Cats. Mina. Taking the corner will be Helena Metcalf. The front of the box, Faith Ocello is the first touch. Out to, Out to Gutierrez. Gutierrez. Through oh. pass to Olivia was failed. Looking for Olivia. Recovered nice by job Faith by Ocello. Faith. Olivia goes down the line. Out to Ariana. Mary Jane. Oh, oh they're going to call offside. Going to call offside is the extra pass is what caused the offside. Olivia Dixon, yep. a middle pass to Ariana. Ariana's try. Uh, I believe she yep. shot it, but missed out to the, the right a little. Mary Jane came in, yep. tapped it in, but Mary Jane was caught on si offsides. Nice ball movement by the Lady Badgers there. Caroline with the recovery. And now Mary Jane with the ball. Takes it down the sideline. Into the middle of the Caroline. Lindley Lowry with the clear. Out for a Lady Cat throw in. Gonna have a sub for somebody. I think I heard the AR tell the Mina coach that we needed a sub. Mina is coached by Jonathan Bennett, 0 and 2 on the season. Arkadelphia and Mina, as we mentioned earlier, are in the same conference, but this is not a conference match. Match. This is just a non-conference match. These teams will play again later in the season in Mina in a match that will go towards conference standings and conference seating for the conference tournament also in the conference i believe we have the nashville scrappers yeah Hope. nine team conference this nine year team conference we which have is smaller than last year there's not no longer the blended 3a and 4a um, division t teams with the north and south division it's a nine team conference the teams will play now arkadelphia has a chance for a goal nice job by me of clearing that one out Gabby Wimpy into the game. The match for Arkadelphia replacing Gutierrez. Lindley Lowry with some nice footwork. She gets that one ahead. The Corey Hilton. I mean, a keeper comes out and controls the ball for the Lady Cats. But 
You were mentioning some of the schools, the same, a lot, several of the same schools Arkadelphia was in a conference with last year, Arkadelphia, Nashville, Boxite, Malvern, um, and then new to Robinson. the conference, and Mina. Uh, Robinson's not in the conference this year. It's, uh, play, play, you're right. Sorry, my apologies. They are in the conference this year for soccer, just haven't been for uh, basketball, baseball, and softball. But uh, Hope and DeQueen, as Hope Coach Patterson Queen. mentioned earlier in the uh, in the evening in the first half when he was with us, there's a couple and of the 5A schools. And then from Little Rock, you've got uh, Joe T. Robinson and Pulaski Academy are the schools in the, also in the conference. So the teams will play uh, the regular season matches, then seed for a conference tournament, and then the conference tournament representatives, top four in the conference tournament, will represent uh, this conference in the 4A state tournament and the 4A state tournament is again in Batesville this year hosted by Southside High School nice job by Sumner Hurkamp Gabby Wimpy yeah. runs down the line well that's going to have a lot of weird English on it and it stays in bounds sorry about the camera there it zoomed in too far or too closely and missed the control by the Lady Badgers Foul is called on Mary Jane Adame. The conference tournament will be held again this year at Arkadelphia High yeah, School. We're Alker still Field. trying to figure out and get solidified if it'll be first round matches at the higher seed like it has been in the past. But uh, most likely the first round matches would be at the higher seed and then you'd have the Semifinals, semifinals on Thursday and then the finals, finals and Friday. consolation if they have those on Saturday here in All Care Field at Badger Stadium. So the conference tournament semis and finals will be here in Arkadelphia again. It'll be the third year in a row, I believe, that yes, sir. will be a third goal year. kick for Arkadelphia. Rebecca Warner eager to take it for the Lady Badgers, see if they can catch the Lady Cats off guard. But We'll do it right back again as her goal kick was kicked right back to her by Aaliyah Ayers. Rebecca Warner with the goal kick out to Asia Jenkins. Dangerous play to Sumner Hurry Camp. Now to Gabby Wimpy. Gabby takes it down the line. going to go into the stands. Well, I know you were able to enjoy the turf field for all four years, but my first two or three years at Arkadelphia back in 11-12, I guess uh, 15 may have been our first year in turf. I honestly can't remember. Uh, this is one of those days that Coach Patterson and I would have been walking the field to say, we're going to be able to play even though it's sunny, or we're going to be able to play the match tonight uh, as wet as the field was so we're thankful that for the those who made the turf possible even five six years I believe it's later fifth year yeah fifth year Arkadelphia will Did have you play on it all four years yes sir first four years we've had this turf yeah. I've been able to, to have the opportunity to play on it yeah Just under 22 minutes left in the second half. Mary Jane hustles to the ball down the side. Takes on the defender too hard of a touch. Goes out for a Lady Cat throw in. <laughs> Lady Cats have really shown more offense this half. It's the win, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Arkadelphia, though, did has had the ball on the... the offensive end of the field in the second half more than Mina did in the first half. So obviously it's not just the win. Here's another chance for Arkadelphia to get something going offensively. Olivia Dixon will chase that one down and be able to cross it in the middle to Gutierrez. Ariana Gutierrez. Ariana tries his first shot. She tried to cross. I think she was really wanting to go to the left side of the left side of the goal there, but uh, I miss it. Arkadelphia is going to have another chance at it. Lily Lowry with the powerful kick to Olivia Dixon. She's on sides. Cuts back. Shot. 
Nice shot. Nice save by Hilton. It'll be a corner kick for Arkadelphia. Just above 20 minutes left. Score is still 1-0. Lady Badgers have had plenty of opportunities, but throughout the rest of this 20 minutes, they, they'll be going for more. Olivia Dixon taking this corner. Gets it in good. Just bounces off a yep. uh, Lady Badger, uh, Ariana Gucci. Oh. Uh, they're going to say another corner. Another so. corner kick. I, th I agree with you. I thought it was uh, Gutierrez as well, but it was ruled to have gone off of a Lady Cat. So it'll be Arkadelphia's corner with Olivia Dixon again. Nice, strong kick that time from Dixon. Out to Ariana. Gets cleared by the Lady Mina Cat defenders. Sam to her camp to get down to this ball. Out to Gabby Wimpy. Ariana. Gets kicked out. Now back to Mary Jane Adame. Out to Lily Lowry. Powerful kick to Olivia. Just the Lady Mina Cat defender got to it. And it was a headed pass. It wasn't a foot pass. If it was a foot pass, it would have been called as an indirect free kick for the Lady Baggers. Gabby Wimpy. Out to Olivia. Olivia tries to find Mary Jane. Gets intercepted. Lindley Lowry on top of that ball. Faithful Cello. Ooh, collides heavily with the Mina Cat the midfielder. Oh, well, now we've got a injury. That was the collision, my friend. Captain number 22. Aaliyah Ayers. Aaliyah Ayers. Captain on the captain there. Aaliyah Ayers, the senior midfielder defender. And Faith Ocello, the senior midfielder. Both going after the ball and may have just had the wind knocked out of her a little bit. She looks like she's standing there trying to get her breath with her coach. As they stop the clock, so we'll reset ours. Uh, 49. 1849. Yes, sir. Remaining in the second half as good to see Aaliyah Ayers jog off of the field. Siri wanting to join the broadcast. <laughs> she has been substituted off. Ca oh, Aaliyah, to catch her not Siri. Siri hasn't been substituted oh, off. Just Aaliyah. Just Aaliyah. Just a little humor there, Will. You oh. know, sometimes you just got to add a little humor to, <laughs> to get things going. Now we will have a drop ball between the Lady Cat and the Lady Badgers def uh, soccer players. Caroline Bennington. Ooh, that was another good collision there, incidental contact. Asia Jenkins with the clearance. Faith gonna be able to catch up to it. She taps it, but is not able to keep it in the field of play. So it'll be a Mina Lady Cat throw in. Quick throw in, Asia Jenkins clears out. Mary Jane tries to hustle back toward the ball. Little bounce out to Lindley Lowry and Lindley passes it back to Mary Jane down the side. Good to see Aaliyah Ayers on the far side checking back into the match at the next opportunity. She's the one who had the collision with Faith Ocello. And after taking a couple minutes to get her breath back, she's ready to go. Gabby Wimpy dribbling through traffic, trying to get it up to Gutierrez, but went to the defender. Olivia Dixon now trying to control the ball. Gabby with the ball recovery. The cutback. 
Crosses it toward the middle to Caroline. Just got stopped by Lady Mina Cat yep. defending the, the Mina Cats back into action. Lindley Lowry with the interception. Back in the middle. L Olivia Dixon gets to it. So close. Yep. Good hustle again by Corey Hilton. The Lady Cat defender, uh, excuse me, keeper. 1646 remaining in the second half. Arkadelphia with a one nothing lead. Lady Badgers have had several opportunities, and we're right back where we started again. Lady Badgers have had several opportunities. Weren't able to cash in on many of those in the first half. Some good opportunities. They had some really good shots. They're going to try to cash in on one of those here in the second half. Lady Mina Cats with the offense. Threw a ball out to keeper Rebecca Warner and she clears it out. Out to close to Ariana Gutierrez. Some to her camp. Tries to make a pass to Ariana, just goes out of bounds. Now we will have a Lady Mina Cat throw in. 15.42 left in this half. Lady Badger still up 1-0. Substitute coming in now. It's Aaliyah Ayers. She will return to the match for Mina. Taking the throw in for the Lady Cats will be Kylie Johnson. Nice job by Ariana, Ariana Gutierrez. Gutierrez. Nice job by Gutierrez and Faith, Faith Ocello. With the clear to Olivia. Olivia down the sideline to Mary Jane. Mary Jane has three targets in the middle. Goes down the sideline. Just defended by the Lady Minica defender. Corey Hilton with another... Oh, she's really call that a save but she did just get control of the ball uh -huh. and prevent Arkadelphia from getting another shot on goal Caroline Bennington out to Mary Jane Mary Jane tries to settle the ball she go down the line across it go down the line and towards nice the middle cross. Olivia Dixon just defended by the Lady Minicat defenders We'll have a later Mina Cat goal kick. Just under 14 minutes to go. In this match, Mary Jane still there. Lady Badgers have really put a lot of pressure. Nice. Shot a tenth there. It's going to be a corner for the Lady Badgers. This may be the chance, Will, that the Badgers, excuse me, the Lady Badgers really needed and wanted. Olivia Dixon will go over and take the corner. Olivia Dixon has two, two targets in the middle, two outside the box. Nice corner there. Amazing corner out to awesome. Ariana. Comes out to Gabby Wimpy. No Little control bit. yet. Now Ayers tries to control it. It goes out of bounds. And what are they going to say? We're going to say a corner kick for uh, the Lady Badgers. For the Lady Badgers. Throw, excuse me. Throw in for the Lady Badgers. And that'll be Wimpy. Quickly to Ariana. The air is Beautiful between the legs Ariana. of Ayers across to Caroline. Caroline. Here comes the shot. Attempt and it's a good, good. A nice shot by Caroline Bennington, her second of the match. And it is two to nothing, Arkadelphia with 1241 remaining. That was a well -played good, well played shot. throw in from all the way from the throw in from Gabby to the control by Ariana. Gutierrez. Gets to get through the Get's legs through. of the defender and finding mm -hmm. Caroline Bennington. You can't, uh, can't draw it up much better than that, can you? Amazing play. Quick pass with a little bit of skill. 
Ended with another pass. Caroline with the shot. Her second of the game. Both amazing goals. <laughs> Nice job by the Lady Badgers. We talked about the pressure that they continue to put on offensively. That surely one of those would guarantee a goal in the cash back in. And a lot of times you see when in a, a match such as this, when you have you put pressure, you put pressure, you finally break one through. Sometimes you see those matches where the next possession you'll get another goal, and get you keep goal. you can once that pressure of of why have we not been able to cash in is broken sometimes you're able to get a add, well, add an insurance momentum. goal and so the lady badgers will try to be doing that right now as olivia dixon, dixon with takes shot. a shot and it's going to be a corner as hilton could not control that shot that was a strong shot from olivia dixon from the right side left-footed volley outside the box now olivia will be taking this corner we're going to have this one framed up for olivia to, to have a nice Corner in the middle of the box, and Caroline Bennington hit this one in. What do you say for the hat trick? Can we can we call our shot, Will? Can we? Yeah, we'll call it a shot. All right. It goes out to Caroline oh, Bennington. Hey, it's almost like I knew what I was talking about, huh? You think if you told the wind to stop, you think it stopped? <laughs> I'll only try. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think so. Well played, nicely played, Mr. Cervantes. Now oh. we'll start off with the Lady Badger throw in. Sumner her camp to throw this one in. <clears throat> Coming up on 11 minutes to go in this match. As we pan the camera down so you can see Sumner with the throw in. Add Faith Ocello would like to try to get in on this scoring action too with the cross slash shot. Out to Faith Ocello again, chest traps it, sees Gabby Wimpy down the side, Gabby with the touch, recovers, goes down the line, stopped by Lady Mina Cat Defender, Faith deserves to recover. Faith crosses in with the left to Olivia Dixon, Olivia Dixon with the left oh. the shot, and again. Almost a little bit of English on that one. Uh. Or, excuse me, the, the English on that one almost resulted in a misplay by Hilton and a goal from the Lady Badgers. But Hilton was able to control it after she bobbled it. Under 10 minutes to go here in the second half. Dixon, I think they, she thought they were going to let that one go out of bounds, but she didn't, so she'll dribble it in, cross, extend it across, look for Gutierrez, but nice play. Caroline Bennington trying to go for the get her trick. third. And the ball's going to trickle out, and it will Lady be a corner. corner by the slimmest of margins. I'm not going to call one this time because it won't happen, but if it does, <laughs> I may just have to sp sp splice a couple of a few seconds to go together. Olivia Dixon with another corner from the far side. Three targets, in, four targets in the middle of this time. Caroline, Ariana, Gabby, and Faith. Good cross out to Caroline. Caroline with the touch. Shot blocked. Sends it back to Olivia. She's on sides. And then essentially another corner. Right in the middle. And it's tipped Cleared just. Had a, had a good angle from our camera here. And Hilton just got enough on that one. Ariana's going to have a chance. But the touch was too strong. And now we're going to have a handball. And a. Another Let good Caroline opportunity for it. the, another good opportunity for the Lady Badgers. Let Caroline take it. Olivia Dixon has a pretty good shot chance of getting this one up and over. See if we can Zoom frame in. our shot. Olivia Dixon, five on the wall. Yeah, Just it's a little bit it. too strong. And it will be a goal kick for Mina. Eight minutes left in the second half. Bag Lady Badgers up 2-0. High pressure from the Lady Badger offense. 
Well, you're, you're, you're up 2 nothing. You've doubled your lead, but you are just one fluke from this being a one-goal match again. So you sure would like to get that insurance goal here in the last on one of these possessions. Now Carolina with another strong shot. A Save rebound Ariana and a goal Gutierrez. from Ariana Gutierrez. She was on sides. There's your insurance goal with 7.34 remaining. It makes it Arkadelphia 3. Caroline Bennington with the shot. And Gutierrez on the rebound is able to find the back of the net on an empty net to give Arkadelphia a 3-0 lead. 7.34 remaining in the half. That's why you don't give up on a shot, you Never give Will. up on a shot. Always follow through. You never know what could happen. So now just as I was saying a couple minutes earlier, that, that, that 2 nothing lead is now 3, and you breathe a little bit more easily. Now you can take a few more chances that you might not have a few minutes ago, Mary Jane. Love the way Mary Jane plays. Basketball, football, excuse me, basketball, soccer, volleyball. Mary Jane's just a tough Everywhere. player. Foul on Mary Jane from number five, I believe. Kylie Johnson. Now we have a Lady Badger free kick. Faith Ocello to take this one. Save, actually not save, I guess it technically wasn't on goal, but the shot was wide left. Out to Faith Ocello, lets it go for Lindley. Lindley in the middle towards Olivia. Olivia. Will Caroline get her third? Oh, we have another. Another. Stoppage for injury as Corey, Corey, Corey Hilton. Hilton came out to contest. She got bumped, and so they will give her her space, and she looks like she's ready to go again. The officials will go talk about what they saw or didn't see see if there's anything looks like we'll be ready to roll and now but it's just to determine where they're gonna place the ball wound wind the clock have another drop ball Olivia Dixon wins the drop ball that's in Lily Larry Gabby Wimpy with the shot, deflected by the Mina Cat defender, and now we'll have a Lady Badger corner kick. Lady Badgers have been close on a couple of these corners in the last, actually, just last five last minutes. Last five minutes. Olivia Dixon will go over and take this corner once again. Caroline Bennington in the middle. She looks like she's they're expecting it to go to her. It gets through. And Arkadelphia will control it. That's Gabby Wimpy. Down to Caroline. Caroline makes a pass to Ariana. Oh, foul ball. Foul ball. <laughs> <laughs> she tried, uh, tried to turn and shoot all in the same. Faith Ocello to the middle. Great hustle by Olivia, I believe. Just hits it over the the bar. We'll have a Lady Minicat. They're, gonna, they're pointing. I mean, goal kick. They're pointing to a corner. Corner. Now he, I think the far, yeah, they're going to yeah, give Arkadelphia Lady a corner. corner. We have a Lady Badger substitution. Ariana Gutierrez is being subbed off for Olivia uh, with the corner, short pass to Mary Jane. Foul by the Lady Mina Cats. Now we have a Lady Badger free kick. They're going to have a card for 
card on Mina. Free kick just outside the box for the Lady Badgers. Last four minutes of the game. In the background, we have our yeah, Badger soccer team making their way out to the sidelines. Olivia Dixon will take the kick. Amazing nice free kick. shot by Olivia Dixon. Beautiful. And that goal. makes it four to nothing, Arkadelphia. Just under four minutes left in the half. Olivia makes it four zero for the Lady Badger soccer team. Well placed free kick over the goalie <coughs> just dipped amazingly into the goal. Mentioned it a few minutes earlier, you, you're, you're at one to nothing. Now, and you have all those opportunities and you now, finally get to two and now Arkadelphia has added two more. two more insurance goals and lead four to nothing with just under four minutes to go Lady in the Badgers second half, which now we can stay in the match. Momentum to score goals. Uh. Now would the Lady Mina Cat throw in? Three thirty left in the second half. Lady Badgers up four zero. <laughs> New faces in for Arkadelphia. Emily Smith in as the defender. Also, Savannah Beard Miller in for Arkadelphia. Along with Kinley Green. Kinley Green and Maddie Green. Sets of twins and the Ariana and Ariana Alexander. and Alexandra Gutierrez set of twins also into the game now. Hannah Dininger getting into the match for the Lady Badgers. Hannah, one of our students from Europe, as part of an exchange program, played volleyball for Arkadelphia as well, and now playing on the soccer team. Caroline Bennington has a chance for her third, but she. Couldn't quite get to go through with the ball still alive. Mary Jane with the Mary Jane gets down there, but goalkeeper. Corey Hilton for Mina is able to control the ball. Two minutes to go in the match. Arkadelphia will move to three one and one on the season. And they will head into spring break. A happy bunch of Lady Badgers. Hannah controls that one to Savannah. Goes out of bounds. Last touched by Ayers. Now to Faith Ocello. Caroline Bennington with the pass to Kinley. Being cleared by the Lady Mina Cat defender. Asia Jenkins and Rebecca Warner. Miscommunication, but Rebecca gets the ball. Out to Caroline. Picks out Hannah on the sideline. One minute to play in this one. The Lady Badgers is trying to keep that shut out. Rebecca won't let that one get into the box. She'll clear it out. Ooh. Be a Mina throw in. 30 seconds to go in this one. Late Amina cat throw in. Lands to Faith. Out to the to face Amina. of Faith. <laughs> AJ Jenkins 
clears the ball out for a late Amina cat throw in. Less than 10 May seconds have left on the clock. One last shot to Ayers. Nice hustle by Ayers. No matter the score, she's going to try to get one in, and that's going to be a throw in and the buzzer. Your final score, Arkadelphia 4, Mina 0, the Lady Badgers. Defeat the Mina Lady Cats in this non-conference match. And they will head into spring break and be back in action, I believe, on the 26th. So it's a Tuesday night. I believe those 24th. matches are at Nashville uh, to, uh, to start the conference season. And maybe I'm getting uh, my sports mixed up. Uh, they will be playing here at Arkadelphia on the 25th as soon as they get back from spring break. Gotcha. So... For Will Cervantes, this is Chris Babb. Again, your final score, Arkadelphia 4, Mina 0 in this women's match. You see on the left screen the, the Badgers taking the field for warm-ups, and we'll be back with their match in a few minutes. But again, your final score, Arkadelphia 4, Mina 0. You've been watching in Arkadelphia Soccer on ArkadelphiaBadgerTV.com. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll be back in a few minutes with the boys' match. 